Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on animation basics in Story Machine. So to get started, we will go to the Project tab and drag the image we want to animate into the stage, and we'll place it right in the middle. Now, let's select the image and take the first step in animating it. Click on Add, and then select Animation. Here, we want this character to look like he's breathing a little. So we are going to create an animation that stretches him up and down a small amount. To scale this character image uniformly up and down, we'll hold Shift when scaling the character down to lock the aspect ratio. If we move the pivot to be down by his hips, the scale will animate relative to that point rather than the center. This will ensure that the scaling of the animation appears from the desired location. Now, let's have a look at the animation action's input fields and their functions. Target. This option controls the field to animate. In this case, scale Y is the vertical scale of this object, but it can also be used to animate other details, such as the position of the object or rotation. Type. Type defines which type of animation curve to use. It can be constant with linear, can't clamped, or accelerating and de-accelerating smoothly with the ease options. Let's select ease in and out. Before we move forward, let's check how loop types and how they affect animation in Story Machine. Once, the animation will play to the end and then stop. Loop. The animation will play through to the end and then start over again at the beginning, repeating forever. Ping pong. The animation will play through to the end and then reverse and reverse again when it returns to the start, repeating forever. So for this example, we will choose a ping pong loop type. Duration defines the length in animation. In this case, we can set the value to one second. The start value field controls the starting value in the animation. So here we can use the scale Y value for the image that we want animate. The end value field controls the value at which the animation ends. Test and incrementally add 0.1 to the start value. So for example, we'll have the start value one and end value one. Point one. These settings will give our animation an excellent subtle movement scaling the y-axis. So let's test it out. You can view your work at any time by selecting play from the run menu and then hit stop to return back to the editor. So let's test our animation by using run and then play. If needed, adjust the start and end values until you are satisfied with the animation. And there we go. You've learned how to create a simple image animation and bring your storing machine project to life.